Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to convert all atom models of protein to coarse grain model. This was developed at Center of Excellence Computational Genomics at RV College of Engineering under Dr. Vidya Niranjan. So the first two steps are the prerequisite steps wherein we download the DUSP protein from PDB database wherein we remove all the hetero atoms the B chain and in any case you can directly get the cleaned PDB from PDB database itself. So in the process we are downloading the protein structure. So in the link shared you can uh, obtain the martinized python script which is available the martini 2.2 itp file and also we need to download the dssp executable file and install it As you can see, I am downloading the ITP file for Martini version 2.2. As mentioned before, I am now downloading the DSSP executable file. All the instructions for downloading and installing the DSSP file is provided in the GitHub page. In the next step, there is a Python script which is available which converts your DSSP file to an SSD file. From the Gromax page, we now download all the MDP files that are required to run the simulation. The complete documentation on how to download Gromax and install it is available on this web page. Moving on to the next step, we will be setting the path in the environment variables. So these are the necessary files that were downloaded. So 
since we already have an SSD file which has been converted using the script which was downloaded before. So having done that, we move on to the next step wherein we rename the files, the field in the topology file to our required folds field that is martini 2.2. So in the ITP file that is already available, It now shows Martini 2.2. Moving on to the next step where we add the simulation box. We will use the command edit conf. Moving on to the next step, we will be minimizing the coarse grain structure in vacuum in absence of any solvent. The run command is successfully executed and we have minimized the structure. Moving on to the step 7 is solvation where we add the solvent molecules. In our case it is water and then we will count the number of water molecules added and append it to the topology file. Moving on to the next step where we are adding ions to the system. So this is an optional step depending on the kind of uh, projects that you are running. If you need any particular pH so you can add your ions to the topology file. So in the demo video, we are neutralizing the simulation system and you can see the chlorine ions were added. Moving on to the next step is energy minimization now in the presence of solvent. Here the minimization is done by you using the following command and max1 is used since there is a mismatch of atom names which is not a harmful error.
so as we can see the minimization of system is running So minimization step is completed and moving on to the next steps of equilibration. We do equilibration in two steps, first in NVT and second in NPT. And both the equilibration steps are carried out using the following command. So this completes the NVT equilibration and moving on to the second step, NPT equilibration. Which can be run using the following commands. Both the equilibration steps have been successfully completed and we are moving on to the production run which is the final run of simulation. In our demo video, we are running it for 200 nanoseconds and the users are allowed to run it whichever suits their project. Once successful completion of the production run, we move on to the analysis steps. To visualize the trajectory or the PDB, we need to connect the atoms to show the bonds and also remove the boundary conditions. The first four lines of the commands are used. Last two commands are used to calculate the RMST and the radius of gyration respectively. As you can see, we have connected the atoms to show the bonds and remove the boundary conditions. Now we are going to calculate the RMST and radius of gyration. The complete step 2 to step 13 of this work can be automated using a shell script. To visualize the RMST plots and radius of gyration, we can do it using BMD. And the plots can be obtained using XMGRACE.
these plots can be saved in any required format. This brings us to the end of the demo video where we have showed you how to convert an all atom model to a coarse grain model to perform all the prerequisites including installation followed by successfully running the coarse grain simulation and visualizing the results. Thank you and please share the video.